of the points uh, Archit has elaborated, so I'll just go on with the questions, if any. Yeah. Yeah, I find it is imperative that you try to maintain your rankings. Once or twice, it goes up and down, it's okay. But it shouldn't be like, first you're top 5, then you're 40, then again you're top 5. It shouldn't be like this. You should try and maintain your, your ranking and improve upon as much as possible. Typing physics, as Archie said, we can relate it to our literary type. But uh, it's not like that in chemistry. So, I have heard that about one fourth of chemistry is uh, like cramming or that. Not exactly, but quite a lot of chemistry is uh, concept based. Organic chemistry is entirely concept based. Physical is entirely concept based. Inorganic to an extent is concept based. To an extent you will have to go for cramming. But, uh, okay, if a, if a subject is abstract, even then just you can think of uh, maybe not, if you can't apply it in a physical uh, concept, uh, physical world, just try to think uh, what are what all you can get from what you've learned, what follows from uh, uh, what you've learned. If you read a theorem, what are the corollaries that follow and all. That can be a good uh, just application of uh, your concept and then go for problems. Polish here. Teaching the concept to teachers gives us some problems. Yeah. And uh, I'd say most of the time, at least in my case, I'm not able to solve them. So do you often feel like was that the case with you also or like I wanted to ask like now at this position we know that you have heard of both in IIT and uh, so <laughs> I didn't have that much of a problem. If there was a problem in certain concepts or certain topics, what I would try to do is understand the concept as much as possible, go home, revise all what I've studied, take a good book uh, for help and uh, first of all I would used to do the NCRT. So given a topic I would read the theory from the NCRT. If I still don't understand it, read the notes back. If I still don't understand it, take another book and then when I'm sure that I'm solid, then go for practice. Okay, it may happen that you will not be able to solve questions, but after, it should be like after a certain video theory, then you should be able to solve your questions. And if the problem persists, contact, uh, consult the teachers, they will be able to guide you better because if they know how you have been taught and uh, how you should go on. I would go on sometimes to study what I liked, uh, but the, uh, the thing is, I would wouldn't do it at the sake of at the cost of my IIT preparation, and because IIT preparation generally is basic for everything. So first, I would do my IIT preparation. If I fi find I have time, if I really enjoy any subject, then I would go on with higher stuff that was beyond IIT level, but not at the cost of IIT preparation. Yes. Uh, why the initial of you get exhausted after doing all the stuff and then it, uh, you're waiting for your holidays and everything uh, and then, like, because we feel like we think after the ball, okay, like, only after one month of doing it. Yeah, that happens because generally it's like, that was the case with me because I was like class 11 and 12, you have to ball, 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 after a while you'll get used to it that how much time do you actually require and then uh, that burnout thing won't happen ki you need to enjoy thoda bahut enjoy to karo like uh, even at this juncture you have sufficient time enjoy your studies don't be like padna 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 i used to enjoy on my own i used to um, take up my hobbies continue with my hobbies do serve the net chat with friends etc go on with that so that uh, later on if you do that Later on you would have a problem that I have studied too much, okay, it's a lot of work, I can't do it. Do you have special from our schools of CBSC exams and all that and also of competition? How you balance them or how you, at that time, how you distress yourself? Okay, uh, you might have noticed that uh, all in all we have been stressing on doing the NCRT as well. That is for, uh, for IIT. And if you, NCRT is the course book for your uh, board exams. So if you are preparing well for the uh, IIT JE, doing the NCRT thoroughly, there is no way that you can 
go wrong in your CBSE. I mean, we have all these students sitting here, none of them would be below 80% in uh, this BSE. That is good <laughs> um, I don't know if how many of them actually devoted a for CBSE, CBSE. Just they, if you're solid in your ID, J preparation, there's no way you can go wrong in CBSE. And that, if you just know that thing, it will help you de-stress. De because uh, just go on with your standard ID preparation and CBSE will follow.